Okay, everyone, let's take a look at multiple choice number 10. So here we have to determine the value of A so that the average rate of change is equal to 9. All right, so they gave us our function. I'll keep that in mind. And then here are our two endpoints from 0 to A. And keep in mind, whenever I want to get rate of change, it's always this formula, right? The change in Y. Oops, so I'll just call it F of B minus F of A, whatever two values of a and B they give us over B minus A. So it's always, this is ultimately a change in Y over a change in X. That little triangle, it's the Greek letter delta, and then the math folks use it to represent change. So let's start to piece together all of this notation because it's a lot. So this, B and A, those are always independent values, or I should say values of your independent variable. They're typically X values, but we were given T values in our particular case. So our, our T values are, and let me change color here just so we can distinguish it. They're literally zero and A. And it doesn't actually matter the order I go in. I could put zero here and A here, or I could go the other direction and I could put the A here and the zero here. I just need to stay consistent on the numerator and denominator. So I usually like to go low, um, high point four. I can't use my words, high point first and then low. So I'm gonna do F of A minus F of zero over a minus zero. All right, and if these had both been numbers, let's say they had given us something like one to three, right? I would have done f of three minus f of one over three minus one. So whatever two numbers they give you as your prompt, those are what go in for what I'm gonna call now a and b respectively. All right, so let me clear some of this out because again, it always gets crowded. And let's go find our function values. So if f of t is t cubed. I've got an analytical function to plug into. Let's see, f of 0 would be 0 cubed, which is 0, and f of a would just be a cubed, whatever that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub those in, and let me um, use a different color just so we can figure this out. So for f of 0, which is right here, I'm going to put 0, right? and then let's go, I like blue, and then for f of a, which is right here, I'm going to substitute in a cubed. So if we look at our fraction now, we have a cubed minus 0 over a minus 0. So this simplifies to a cubed over a, which is ultimately just a squared. And they told us that this rate of change is actually equal to 9. So I have this formula that a squared is 9. And when I square root both sides, I would get a is plus or minus 3. And I'm going to take the positive version of that, um, mostly because the answer has a equals 3 and not a negative 3. And typically, this isn't always the case, but usually when we quote on our numbers like 0 to a, we usually go low to high. So that would imply this was positive 3, not negative 3. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.